Beetlejuice was one of Broadway's first casualties of the pandemic shutdown. That musical will not be returning, but we know one of its brightest stars will be. Right, Paul? That's right, Tamsin. At just 19 years old, Sofia Ann Caruso's already had an awesome career. And now, she's about to star in a movie alongside two of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Charlize Theron and Kerry Washington just signed on to join Sofia in the upcoming Netflix film, The School for Good and Evil. It's adapted from the fantasy YA novel of the same name. We're especially excited about this interview since it's one of our first in-person conversations since the Broadway shutdown one year ago. So here we are, we're in the Catskill Mountains. We've actually both been spending a lot of time up here during quarantine. Since the pandemic begun, we did some socially distance all the way from the back of the yard waves, kind of keep up, just see each other. A lot of people sort of shut down during the pandemic, and then other people have been able to find creativity and sort of focus on things. And what, what's it been like for you sort of emotionally and creatively to go through this time? There is a certain pressure to be creating and doing something now because it's like we all have all this time to do things. You know, we should be, you know, creating and, you know, producing our work. I've been, you know, creating a decent amount of work, luckily, and definitely a difficult environment and culture to, you know, be doing stuff in. I just dropped a, a song and it's doing really well. Spotify put me uh, on one of their playlists and Apple Music put me on one of their playlists. Spotify actually, uh, they have like an indie, uh, new an indie uh, playlist and they put me at the top of that. It was really exciting, I got email. email Oh, you put it this playlist, and I look. I clicked the link, and I was like, right at the top. It was really cool. Um, and yeah, I've got lots of more music, you know, coming down. You have such an interesting career. You have a lot of offbeat roles. Let's talk a little bit about Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice has a crazy fan following. What was it like to find yourself in the middle of something with such a passionate fan base? It's a crazy fan base. It's insane. I didn't have a TikTok until, you know, midway through the pandemic. So I didn't understand what was going on in that world. I was hearing all about it, but I had no idea. So to be able to go on there after that and be like, oh my gosh, these people are so crazy about the show. It's just really cool. And even on Instagram and the rest of socials, uh, you know, people were really loving it. Um, it still are. People talk about the album all the time, and um, people are getting excited for it to, you know, someday go back to Broadway, which is just super cool. Um, and even at the stage door, like the fans are just crazy and super passionate and I love that and I love meeting people. What, what are you sort of most proud of when you look back on what you achieved sort of coming out of it? I think the thing I'm most proud of is the work that I put into it because when you are doing eight shows a week and you're on stage for 85 or more percent of the show, it's a lot of work and I applaud every Broadway performer, ensemble members, everybody, because it's hard work to do that eight shows a week, you know, especially all the leading ladies. I just, I really admire all of them. You are filming a big movie for Netflix. How do you land a movie gig during a pandemic? When I left Beetlejuice, I was leaving to go do TV and film. So this is like one of those things, you know, and what happened was I had just left and then two weeks later, Broadway shut down. School for Good and Evil was something that I kind of had, you know, had in the works for a while. It tells the story of two girls who are best friends. One of them is sort of a princess and the other one is sort of the outcast. Very Lydia-like the other one is actually, but I'm not playing that role. I'm playing this sort of princessy one. But this is so much larger than life and I think that's part of why I love it. Yeah. 